One of the nice things about this system is that the visual page builder actually allows you to edit the pages from the front of the site as well, as long as you have administrative access. I'm going to come back over here to the About Us page where I was before. And um, instead, of go, instead of clicking Edit Page here or going into the administrative interface to edit the page, I'm just going to come over here and click on Edit with Visual Composer. And this is actually going to bring up an interface now that when I hover over this, I'm going to get these, this, this different information here about the different sections in the Visual Composer that I can change. So as I scroll down, now let's say right here in this section I wanted to add an, an image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my edit icon, which is the little pencil. It's going to bring up the WYSIWYG editor, just like we had in the back. I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor right there. Click Add Media. I'm going to go ahead and add this image right here. Now, this is a pretty big image, so I don't want to actually add this full image because it's 2 megabytes in size and it's over 2,000 pixels wide, so it would take up the whole screen. So what I want to do is I want to just put the medium size, and that's automatically been selected down here for me. So awesome, that's great. I got the medium size. Do I want to link to anything, which means when I click on it, do I want it to do anything? Well, the default says that when I click on it, I want the media, the full size media file to come up in a light box is what that does. But I actually don't want that to do that here. I don't want that to have a link, so I'm going to set that to none. The alignment is set to left, and that is where I want it aligned, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at left, but I could center it, uh, I could align it to the right, or put no alignment on it at all. If I put no alignment on it at all, um, then it will just be a, an inline element, and there won't be any text that will flow around it or anything, it will be on its own line. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I want it to align that to left, and there we go. There's our image, aligned to left, we got text flowing around it and nice. Okay, I'll go ahead and close this and now these changes aren't final though. I can make these changes, get the page how I want it and then go okay excellent I've got that changed. Then I click update and then I'm going to get right up here in just a moment once the page is updated, a successfully updated. And when I'm done doing my updates I can just come over here and click and come right out of the Visual Composer. Very, very simple, very, very easy. You can also drag and drop stuff um, when you're even here in the front end. So there are two different ways to, to change pages. And all of the pages in the system are built with the Visual Composer, so they can all be edited with the Visual Composer, whether they be the home page or the contact page. The only ones that aren't editable with the Visual Composer are going is going to be the updates page, which is uh, where you put blog postings and, and such. And uh, we'll be going over blog posting actually, postings actually in uh, the next video.